Hello. Hello, Andy. Hello. Can you give me and the back office co-host? I, I already you gave already the did. back office co-host. I will make you co-host as well. Thank you. Would you like me to have that in the in my background? Yeah, if you like. I sent it to you before. Would you like me to send it again? I let me just double check. It's in hand. your WhatsApp. Okay. Are you able to find it? Yes. Oh, yeah, I see, I see it. <laughs> we have every I realize the name this is not in alpha order. <laughs> It'll be hard to in the ass. We've got a few people who are just, um, they're in the waiting room now. Should I let them in? Uh, yeah, might as well. You're the left 50 some odd people in. Mm -hmm. I'll let some people in too. You can get on your. Hello, welcome, welcome. It would be great to see your faces if we can get you to ask you to put on your turn on your cameras. Do 
to make yourselves comfortable. Make sure you've got a pen and paper. Welcome everybody. If we can encourage you to please switch on your cameras. It's a big part of your leadership skills is going to be how you look as you show up as a volunteer for the workshops. So that will be part of the program today is to give you some advice and feedback as to how to make sure you look professional as you run your online workshops. Everyone seems a bit shy, Yancy. No one's on the. No one's turning their cameras on. Thank God, why highly get camera. Thank you, Eric. Good job, Eric. I like the background. 打開你的camera,唔該,大家打開你的影像 Thank you, Minnie, thank you, Victor Thank you, Jonathan, Kelly Should we wait for a couple of minutes or We have about, we're 17, 16, 15, so we still need about We only about one, four Please turn on your cameras, please.
，扑街啊！仲仲仲仲仲要，请开你嘅影像，大家，请开你个。我哋等多一分鐘 ，wait for one more minute，Andy。Yeah So we'll start in one minute. 我哋一個一分鐘後開始，請大家 turn on 你嘅 camera。同拍 people comment。Carmen, Shanny, Jing Tong, Ming Ying, Okay, uh, we'll get started. 各位 ，welcome welcome to 啊、uh, ，我哋嘅 Volunteer for Peace 嘅 workshop 今日係我哋咧將會有啊、uh, 以下嘅程序，就係、是、首先就係 welcome 啊、uh, welcome all of you 啦，咁然之後誒、uh, 我哋會有一個 welcome video from Mrs. 啊、uh, Bisi Lang 嘅 ，from UNESCO Hong Kong Association Global Peace Centre 嘅。誒、uh, ，我係邊位咧？我係誒， um, 我係呢個 project 誒、uh, 整個啊、uh, peacemaker celebration project action for peace 嘅 project 啊、uh, manager 啦，咁誒個責任啦，咁誒、uh, 我哋跟住咧會誒、uh, 我會播一段 video 就係 Miss 誒佢係誒 Mrs Mrs Long 咧係 co-chair of 個 UNESCO Hong Kong Association Local Peace Centre 嘅。咁跟住咧，我哋會俾一個少少嘅 briefing 啦。誒、uh, ，Rachel 咧會介紹一下誒、uh, 我哋嗰個 Volunteer for Peace 嘅，有打嚟我哋個同學仔打俾我。誒、uh, ，Volunteer for Peace 嘅誒嘅 briefing 嘅。咁之後咧，我哋就開始我哋嘅 workshop 啦。咁請大家咧，如果誒。Uh, 我而家咧會播 Missy 嘅 video 先，請等陣下。Uh, we can't see the video. And there's been a technical difficulty. Please bear with me for a while as we、uh, rectify this problem. Uh, 
em có thể là tâm gì Kiến hẳn Sẽ Thấy mình đổ vô video Khó là người ta hả Thấy Sam thì đã có thể thấy đổ vô video Sam Can you see the video? No. Oh, okay. Um, and just when you click the share screen, just make sure that you click the um, optimize for video clip option and the share sound. Casting share. Stop sharing. Share screen. Where where do I optimize the video? I just click um, on the video. There's a there's a little button. So when you click share screen, there's a little button uh, bottom left to say share sound, and then next to it says optimize for video clip. And just click on the video file that you want to share. Advanced share option. No, you don't need the advanced share options, just the normal. Just click on share. Share screen. Yep. Share sound. Optimize. Optimize for and video, yeah. And then click on. Yeah. Can you get to mute this person? Okay. Sorry, let me try again. Again, uh, Yancy, uh, we have the video set up on our side. If you don't mind, we can do this, do this for you. Okay, please do. Yep, I've, I've seen it. Got Building peace in the mind of men and women. Positive Peace. 为了防止病毒主要是在线上面举行下一個 part 就是Rachel會幫我們給一個briefing 
關於嗰個誒 Wonderful Peace 嘅 program 嘅時候。O K， 誒唔該 ，Yes， 咁誒大家依家睇到我 share 出嚟嘅呢一個 screen 嘛？誒、呃，如果睇唔到嘅同學可以出聲嘅。咁誒、呃，如果冇冇人出聲嘅話咧，咁我就 assume 大家睇到啦。咁誒。呃接下落嚟咧，我會耗用十分鐘嘅時間同大家高呼一次，講解一下誒成、呃、個 Volunteer for Peace 嘅 program 包含咗啲乜嘢啦？誒、呃，大家要點樣先算係完成咗成個 program 啦？咁完成咗之後，大家可以誒、呃、得到啲乜嘢，攞翻啲乜嘢走嘅？咁誒呢啲以下落嚟，我用嘅呢個 PowerPoint 咧，之後都會 full email share 翻俾大家嘅，咁所以大家都可以唔使擔心。咁誒、呃，如果冇問題嘅話咧，可能中間如果大家發現有啲乜嘢疑問嘅話咧，可以喺我講完之後，即係最後我會有個 Q&A session， 咁到時大家再開麥提問都得嘅。咁依家我就正式開始啦。係啊，咁首先就講講誒 recognition 嘅部分啦。咁誒、呃、首先咧，誒、呃、完咗成個 program 之後咧，我哋會做翻一張 e certificate 俾同學仔嘅。咁但係點樣先可以攞到我哋呢張 e certificate 咧？咁就要麻煩同學仔要完成四個部分啦。咁分別第一就係麻煩你哋要完成曬所有我哋嘅 training session 啦。第二咧就係要麻煩你哋誒幫我哋填咗一份 online questionnaire。咁其實係個 Google Form 嚟嘅啫。咁係全部都係 multiple choice question 嚟嘅，大概誒十幾題左右嘅啫。咁第三咧就係、是、當然要做啲 service 出嚟啦。最後咧就可能 base on 個 service 咧就麻煩你哋填翻大概誒百零字左右嘅一個 reflection 俾我哋，咁中英文都得嘅，任大家。咁做完呢啲嘢之後咧，當我哋收到曬大家做完嘅嘢之後咧，咁我哋就會出翻個 e certificate 俾你哋噶啦。咁跟住我哋就講講到底誒、呃、全部嘅 training session 即係包含啲咩啦？咁其實咧就包含誒啲幾 part 嘅。呃咁首先就係相信大家之前報名之前應該都有留意過，我哋有個叫誒 online self study course 啦，咁有啲同學仔應該都已經讀咗㗎啦。咁跟住之後就會有兩個 online training workshop 啦，咁分別就係大家依家參加緊嘅呢個，同埋聽日同一個時段都仲會有第二個嘅。咁跟住之後咧，第三 part 咧就會講關於我哋嘅誒 service delivery。咁我哋咧其實有兩個大型活動咧，就需要同學仔係誒用 volunteer 嘅身份去 support 我哋嘅。咁一個咧就叫做 Action for Peace Online Program， 咁其實咧就係、是、一啲 online workshop 嚟嘅啫。咁一個 workshop 大概兩個鐘頭左右，咁同學仔要做嘅，到時就會好似我哋依家整嘅呢啲 workshop 咁樣啦。咁同學仔就可能幫我哋做一啲誒、呃、host 嘅 support 咁樣嘅。咁、那個、呃、workshop 嘅時間咧，大概就會喺四月到六月份進行嘅。咁因為唔同 workshop 嘅嗰個時期咧，我哋都仲未 set 有個日子出到嚟。咁稍後我哋會出到個 exactly 日子之後咧，會再通知翻同學仔嘅，係啦。咁大家可能就要呢段時間就 keep 住留意個 email 啦，即係或者我哋個 website 啦，睇下有冇最新嘅 information 啦。咁第二個活動咧，就係、是、我哋每年都會做嘅一個 peacemaker cultural celebration。咁今年因為疫情嘅關係咧，所以我哋係將佢就 target 係希望今年第三個季度可以進行啦。咁往年咧，我哋呢個活動係延長嘅。咁今年咧，因為疫情關係，我哋有機會會係誒，我哋會做 online 嘅。咁當然視乎誒個、呃、情況，如果許可嘅話，我哋就可能係 online 同現場都會做嘅。咁稍後我會做一後啲嘅部分，會再 detail 啲講到底呢一 part 係點樣運行嘅。咁我哋先進入第一 part， 就係誒呢個 online self study course 啦。咁誒、呃、未到嘅同學仔，咁你見到呢度有個誒？呃誒、呃、一條 link 啦，或者 QR code 啦，咁可能你哋就快啲記低佢度啦。咁原先咧就想麻煩同學仔讀完之後應該會有個 e certificate， 咁就俾翻我哋睇你個 e certificate 就去 prove 翻話你哋讀咗嘅。咁後屘我哋發現咧，佢原來個 system 咧就誒、呃、有啲 policy 轉咗，依家就需要同學仔要俾咗錢之後先可以攞到個 certificate 嘅。咁但我哋又唔想同學仔花錢去買張 certificate。咁所以咧，誒、呃、同學仔如果讀完之後咧，可能你哋就會去到一個 page， 就係叫你哋啊唔該，你填資料俾錢就買呢張 shirt 啦。咁你哋唔需要俾錢嘅 ，cap 低嗰一頁嗰張圖，然之後咧誒呢誒嗰張圖你可能 save 翻話呢個係份邊一個同學仔打翻個全名啦，係我嘅咁樣，咁寄翻俾我哋，我哋知道有邊個同學仔係做咗呢樣嘢，咁就 OK 噶啦。咁跟住第二 part 就關於我哋嘅 online training workshop 啦。咁呢度我就唔多講啦，因為大家接落嚟都要上噶啦。咁首先今日嘅呢一個就會由我哋嘅誒 tutor 就係 Mr. Andy Clark 啦，咁佢會講一啲關於誒
leadership skill 嘅活動嘅，係啦。咁聽日同樣嘅時段咧，就會由另一位導師就係 Mr. Casey Kong。咁佢咧就主要係同大家講一啲關於點樣運用我哋一啲誒、呃、電子產品啊，或者一啲誒、呃、virtual 嘅 host 誒、呃、hosting 嘅一啲技巧咁樣同大家 share 翻嘅。咁輪到最重要嘅部分啦，咁就係關於我哋點樣去做 service 啊。咁頭先都講過，我哋有兩個大型活動需要同學仔 support 啦。咁其實你哋咧主要係可以用三個方式嚟 support 我哋嘅。第一就係 support 我哋一啲 online workshop 嘅運行啦。第二就係我哋會有一個現場同埋 online 同步進行嘅一啲活動。咁可能咧你哋就需要幫手現場同埋、呃、online 都要 support 我哋嘅呢一 part。咁第三就係一啲關於 back office 嘅 support 啦。咁舉個例，譬如我哋可能打算開一個誒分享會，咁頭先做咗嗰個誒 self study 嘅同學仔，咁可能咧我哋會有一個分享會嘅 online online 分享會，咁咧就邀請同學仔好似今日咁樣啦，就入嚟呢個 Zoom 嗰度。咁同學仔咧，有啲同學仔咧就可以做個 host 去幫手去誒運行成日成個分享會，有啲同學仔咧就可能做個 participant。佢去講翻啊！我讀咗嗰個 online 嗰個 course 啊，誒、呃，我覺得佢點啊？有冇用啊？誒、呃，我有冇啲問題想問啊？或者我覺得有啲位值得討論嘅，攞出嚟大家傾下啊，咁樣嘅，大概就類似呢啲類型啦。咁誒，轉、呃、頭我會有個再 detail 啲嘅版本同大家講講嘅。咁呢度就有一個誒好、呃、short 嘅一個簡介，就係講下我哋個活動係係啲乜嘢啦。咁例如嗰個 Peacemaker Cultural Celebration， 咁。呃、今年咧，我哋會將佢變成一個兩個由原先嘅兩日嘅活動咧，我哋會將佢濃縮到變成兩個鐘頭嘅活動。咁就主要係 online 活搞嘅。現場嘅話就視乎到時第三季度我哋定咗一個日子咧，疫情嘅情況。如果許可嘅話，我哋就希望係 online 同現場同步進行嘅。咁就即係會有現場直播嘅部分出現啦。咁如果、呃、真係 touch wood 現誒個、呃、疫情關係，我哋冇辦法做現場嘅話，咁我哋都會有個 live 嘅 online 嘅。做法嘅應該，咁咧就大概係會長達九誒、呃、兩個鐘頭啦。咁入邊會包含九個誒、呃、活動內容嘅。咁其實就係請誒唔、呃、同背景文化文化背景嘅誒、呃、朋友啦，咁或者唔同嘅團體啦，或者係啲學校咧，咁佢哋可以過嚟參與，佢哋可以係過嚟玩又得，過嚟做表演嘉賓又得。咁到時就睇個模式係點樣進行啦。咁另一樣咧。需要同學仔幫手嘅咧，就係我哋嘅 Action for Peace program 啦。咁原先我哋其實有九個細嘅 Action for Peace 活動嘅。咁大家依家參加緊呢個 Volunteer for Peace 咧，其實都係 under 呢一個大嘅 program 入邊嘅。而當中咧，我哋有六個 Action for Peace 嘅 program 咧，係會嚟緊會進行一個誒兩個鐘頭嘅 online workshop。咁到時就可能要同學仔咧，就要係喺電腦嗰度 support 我哋啦。咁點樣做咧？咁呢度就有個例子啦。嗱，例如我哋 workshop 開始之前咧，咁就可能要麻煩同學仔幫我哋 check 嗰個 attendance 啦。咁當然事前我哋會俾啲資料我哋，即係我今日係邊幾個誒，邊咩誒幾咩嘢 participant 報咗呢一班個名係乜嘢？咁到時就麻煩同學仔幫我哋 check 啦。咁跟住亦都幫我哋，因為我哋會有啲 password 俾啲 participant 嘅，咁到時就麻煩同學仔幫我哋 admit 佢哋入嚟啦。咁 workshop 期間咧，咁我哋就會將同學仔變成一啲 co-host 啦。咁如果有一啲誒、呃、關於 admin 嘅問題咧，咁就可能麻煩同學仔幫我哋手誒、呃、解決咗佢。咁當然咧，成個 workshop 會有一個 master 去誒、呃、有個導師喺度去誒、呃、進行嘅。咁我哋都要 support 呢一個導師啦。如果佢有啲咩嘢需求嘅話，咁我哋做到就幫手啦。咁跟住之後咧，就誒、呃、第二樣咧就係、是、要麻煩同學仔可能用電腦幫我哋錄低翻成個 workshop 嘅過程。同埋幫幫我哋誒 take 翻啲 note mark 翻嗰個誒 highlight 嘅 movement 啦，例如譬如我頭嗰十五分鐘咧係個導師講解，咁我 mark 低係頭十五分鐘導師講解，跟住之後係一啲互動環節，咁啊誒咁啊幾分幾秒到幾分幾秒左右係互動環節，咁呢啲其實係方便我哋打後睇翻個 workshop video 嘅時候就容易啲 pick up 翻一啲誒重重點位咁樣啦。咁第三亦都係比較重要嘅。咁就係要麻煩咧，同學仔咧幫我哋、呃、提醒翻啲參加者，甚至乎係到時咧就好似我依家咁樣 share screen 示範一下，教啲同學仔、呃、教啲 participant 點樣去完成一個又係 online question year， 咁其實都係一個 Google Google question year 嚟嘅啫。咁最主要就係叫翻啲 participant 填翻啦。咁因為我哋嘅 participant 個對象 target 咧
，佢哋有中學生都有小學生嘅，咁所以就視乎佢哋個年齡層，咁就睇下你哋到時個 present 個方式係點樣啦。咁 after workshop 之後咧，咁當然要整理翻嗰個 attendance list 啦。咁同埋咧，我哋會、呃、想麻煩你幫我哋整個 set 俾呢班誒 participant 嘅。咁 set 咧，我哋已經有個 template 喺度啦。咁就淨係要麻煩同學仔幫我哋誒、呃、入翻呢啲 participant 個名入去，俾翻我哋啫。咁我哋會再誒 send 翻俾呢啲 participant 啦。咁第二咧就係、是、幫我哋揾翻，即係可能有啲 participant 冇誒唔記得咗要做呢個文件嘅話，咁就幫我哋提醒翻佢要填翻啦。咁最後咧就係、是、譬如我哋前面錄低咗呢個誒 workshop 個 video 啦。咁如果有同學仔有呢方面嘅，技能即係識得點樣去誒剪片啊等等嘅話咧，咁就可能要同學仔幫手幫我哋將啲誒精華片段勾翻出嚟，剪翻做一段片咁樣。咁我哋之後都可以放上去網啊，或者喺後期其他活動都可以用到嘅。咁呢一頁就非常之重要啦，就係、是、講大家誒有啲乜嘢要交俾我啦，點樣交啦？咁首先第一就係個 question here 啦。咁你見到呢度有個 QR code 就係個誒 Google Form 個 question here 嗰、那個。誒 QR code 嚟嘅，咁條 link 都喺呢度啦。咁呢個你上 Google 嗰度搞掂咗佢就得啦。咁另外咧，第二咧就係、是、誒、呃、有兩嘢咧就可以 full email 交俾我嘅。原先咧就要個 e s e r t i f i c a t e 咁依家唔使啦 ，cap 一張圖俾我就 OK 啦呢、這個。咁另一個咧就係、是、完咗個 service 之後咧，就麻煩你誒、呃、完咗個 service 之後咧，就麻煩你寫翻一個一百字咁上左右，中英文都得嘅。咁跟住之後咧就誒、呃、兩樣嘢一齊誒、呃、兩樣嘢一齊又得，分開又得。咁就 send 翻去呢一個 email 啦，然之後咧記得喺你個文件嗰度咧跟翻下邊個誒命名嘅方法寫翻個名，咁我知道係誒 from 邊一個嘅，咁就 OK 啦。咁今日大致上就咁啦。誒、呃，大家有冇問題？歡迎隨時發問嘅，可以開麥。我 stop share 先啦。誒，呢一個 PowerPoint 我稍後會 email 俾你哋嘅，所以大家唔使擔心。嗱，有冇問題？如果冇，我哋就誒、呃、正式咁翻去個 workshop 嗰度喎。如果稍後有問題嘅，都可以聯絡翻我哋誒 centre， 打電話或者 email 都得嘅。誒，我想問下咧，個 questionnaire 咧係誒我哋服務完之後做定係我哋服務之前做？誒、呃，做完。今日誒，今日同聽日參加完個 workshop 之後，就可以去做 questionnaire 噶啦。咁至於個 reflection 咧，就係服務完之後先寫嘅。有冇其他問題 ？Hello， 你好。嗯，想問一問，誒、uh, Part One 唔係好清楚。Part One。啊。OK。等我陣啊。嗯。开翻呢个先。好，我哋去翻 Part One， 即系呢一个 Online Self Study Course 系咪啊？系。OK， 诶，呢一个咧，其实系一个诶、uh, Online Self Study Course， 咁同学仔只需要自己入呢个网，咁其实佢系 support 佢系一个免费嘅 course 嚟嘅，咁你可以上网跟佢个指引。咁其實就誒有啲似我哋網上閱讀文章咁樣，睇完佢一啲誒文章或者一啲影片視頻，然之後誒答翻啱佢啲問題，咁跟住之後咧，咁就跟佢個 step by step 咁樣做，去到最後完成咗個 course 之後咧，佢就會話你，我哋 complete 曬我成個 course 啊。咁跟住之後咧，佢就以前咧就應該係會出現一張 certificate 俾你，就證明哦，多謝你 complete 咗我哋呢個誒成個 course 咁樣嘅。咁但係依家咧就我哋發現咧，原來佢就係要大家俾錢去買呢張 shirt 先得嘅。咁我哋又唔想大家花錢去讀完個 course 仲要買張 shirt 咁樣。咁所以咧就誒，大家去到嗰個位之後咧，可能就會出現一個畫面，就係佢要你，佢叫你啊唔該你俾錢填資料，咁我哋就俾呢張 shirt 你啦。咁你唔使做任何俾錢嗰啲動作嘅，你就咁 cap 低嗰、那個，即係你電腦 cap 圖咁樣影低嗰個畫面，然之後跟住你。將呢一幅圖改名改翻做你個名咁樣，然之後你 email 俾翻我，咁我直我見到我、哦、原來你都去到嗰個畫面，即係你應該已經讀咗成個 course 噶啦，咁就咁跟住你俾翻嗰張圖我就 OK 啦，咁就唔需要大家花錢去買呢張 shirt 咯。誒、呃，明唔明白？解唔解釋得到？明白啦，明明白。Thank you
。但係唔該，我想問下咧，因為我之前已經買咗呢張證書，咁所以可以點樣做啊？即係已經俾咗錢。O K， 明白，唔緊要。嗱，你攞咗張相先，呢、這個我哋我哋 office 都要傾傾，因為我哋都係呢一位律師師有呢個情況嘅。咁我之後再聯絡翻你，好冇？好啊，好啊。你或者你 email 一次啊，即係你你 email 都提一提我。嗯。即係係啦，你如果張相你收到之後，你都提一提我咁樣。誒、嗯，已經係即刻 send 咗俾我，跟住我係 print 咗出嚟咯，即係。O K， 我你都你都 email 咗俾我先啦，係啦。咁我之後我再同你，我再復翻你。好，唔該。好，唔該。有冇其他問題？如果冇，我哋就 move on 去下一 part 啦，交俾 Yancy 先。多謝 Rachel 啊，咁誒、呃，大家我哋不如誒、呃、做一個準備，然後 let's get ready for 我哋個 workshop 啊、呃、itself。But take a couple minutes 啊、uh, ，stand up 啊、uh, ，sit down 啊、uh, ，turn on your camera。So 啊、uh, ，we'll give ourselves Two minutes to get ready for、uh, Andy, right? Sure. If we can ask everybody, please switch on your cameras. That'd be great.、It'd、be great to see you all.、Uh, welcome to our leadership workshop. All right. First thing I'd like to do is just to ask everybody just to stretch yourselves, wake yourselves up a little bit. I know it's evening time for you. It's actually morning time here in London. Uh, for me, my name's Andy Clark, and I'm originally from the UK, but I've been living out in Hong Kong for ten years. Recently, returned back to London.、Um, first thing I'd like to ask, ask everybody to do is you're going to roll shoulders, everybody. Just roll your shoulders, big circles. I want to see everybody on your video rolling shoulders forwards. Roll shoulders backwards. Okay, put your arm out to one side, back across your body. Other arm up, stretch out your shoulder, and the other side. Give it a really good stretch. Want to see everybody doing this on your videos, please? Okay, hands together, stretch out. Okay, three, two, one. Take your head to one side, and to the other side. Okay, and take a really deep breath. Breathe in. One more really deep breath. All right, fantastic. Okay, so hopefully now you've got a bit more energy. Okay, you've woken yourselves up. I know it's I know it's in the evening now for you guys. You probably just had your dinner, but we're going to be talking a little bit about leadership skills, particularly the leadership skills that you guys are going to need when you are volunteering. Uh, particularly when you're interacting with each other and also with the general public, working on this fantastic、uh, peacemakers celebration program. So, I'm going to share with you a few hints and tips. Obviously, this year it, most of the events are going to be、uh, online, so you're going to have to get really comfortable with having yourselves on video. And so, I'm just going to give you a few hints and tips right at the start now about how you can. Make yourself even more professional, especially in your online programs. So, in the volunteer leadership toolkit, these are some of the things that we're going to be covering. We're going to set you up for success, making sure your equipment is right, making sure that you just get the all your preparation right. We're going to actually get you to think about your elevator pitch, and and I'm going to ask. I'm going to. This is going to be interactive, so you guys are actually going to do some work here, and you guys are going to speak as well.、Um, Kerry, I'm going to ask you, Kerry.、Um, do you know what an elevator pitch is?、Uh, Have you ever heard of an elevator pitch? It's okay if you haven't. Maybe. May I ask?、Uh, may I answer you later? <laughs> you can. You can.、Yeah. <laughs> um, do, can anybody tell me what is an elevator pitch? Anybody have an idea? Or you're all quite shy. No worries if you don't know what this is. What the idea behind an elevator pitch is? Imagine that you were getting into an elevator, and suddenly. Someone incredibly important, very famous, got into the elevator with you. Maybe it's Bill Gates, or 
you know, somebody, somebody super, maybe it's Elon Musk gets into the elevator and they say, oh, hi, hi, Jonathan, or hi, Suki, what are you working on? And you go, <gasps> you've only got about one minute to explain what you're working on and who you are to this incredibly important and famous person because you're in an elevator and you're going up and you know, you're gonna stop at one of these floors very, very quickly. So the idea is it's a self introduction, but a very, very short self introduction. So what we want you to do is to have a short, positive, fun, interesting self introduction. Whenever you're volunteering, we want you to be high energy, to let people know who you are, what is your goal, what is it that you're doing, and then ask them questions, find out about them. So we're going to do the elevator pitch uh, tonight. Uh, we're going to think about a positive mindset. How do we lead with a positive mindset, especially when there are problems, there are difficulties that happen. Maybe there is IT issues, there are other frustrations. How can we keep a positive mindset? And we're just going to finish off with a quick recap and reminder of positive peace, which um, let me do a quick show of hands. How many people have done the positive peace training already? Raise your, raise your hands. Jonathan, you have. Minnie, you have. Wong Hing, Cheryl, you, you guys have done it already. Uh, Minnie, excellent. All right. It's a really nice program. It's very simple. It's easy to understand. It gives you a nice certificate at the end. Um, so do make sure you take the positive peace program. Uh, it's a really well-made program. I enjoyed taking it myself. And we're also going to talk a little bit about the SDG goals just to keep those top of mind, especially as you volunteer through the different sections of this program. So first of all, we're going to look at online meetings and setting yourself up for success. And thank you so much to all of you who've got your video cameras on. You are already halfway to success um, and you're looking good. One key thing, as you are running online sessions, you've got to make sure your internet speed and stability is high. One of the best ways to do this, so a lot of you will be dialing in from your laptops at the moment, um, but ideally it's so much better and so much faster if you connect directly to your router. What that means is you'll need an ethernet adapter an ethernet cable and some spare ports on the back of your router. So what you'll do is you'll get a, an adapter, like the one you can see here, you'll plug it into your laptop, which a lot of laptops don't have ethernet adapters now, and you'll just plug in a proper ethernet cable. Um, I just wanna ask everybody now, we've got this speedcheck.org link this can actually check your internet speed because one thing if you are joining a meeting and you're co-hosting a meeting you've got to make sure that your internet speed is fast enough so what i'd like everybody to do now i just want you to go to www.speedcheck.org okay so just open up a browser and go to this website and just click on test speed just to see how fast your internet is now. Because one of the dangers of running an online meeting is that sometimes we go and the internet slows down. We don't have, we're not clear. People can't see us, but we, you know, we try and run video and it doesn't work. And that may be because our internet isn't fast enough. So I want you to just click on the speed test. When your speed test is completed, I want you just to go to the chat, open up the chat and just type in your speed. What speed of download are you getting? Let me just type that in. So what is the speed of download? So just type in the numbers. How many megabytes per second are you getting? Are you getting 10, 20, 30, 50, 100? So what is, what is your speed? All right. And I, I did it the other day in my Hong Kong office, and this was my score. So I was getting 33.65 megabytes per second download. And that is, as long as you've got more than 10 megabytes per second, probably your stability is okay. The big danger, of course, is when you are on Wi-Fi, you've got many other people in your apartment who are also using the internet, 
and especially if you've got lots of programs open in the background. So quick tips. So do type it in if, you, if you've run the test, type in your speed. So I was getting, I'll type in mine, 35, 33.56, I think was mine. If you can type in your speed as well, that'd be great. And you can have a think about how you can increase it. Okay, you've got 33.78, almost exactly the same as mine. That should be fine. Good, good. 34.56. Who's going who's gonna to be the winner tonight? Who's got the highest speed? We've got uh, Carmen Fong in at the back there, 18.71. Law Catron is uh, not, too, not too bad, 33.26. In the lead, we've got Jacqueline, 34.52. All right. <laughs> so what can you do to increase your speed? Well, first of all, you can get the Ethernet cable um, and link directly. Second thing, just to switch off all of those programs on your computer that are using the Internet. All right. And this is on all devices in your home. So if you happen to have a very important meeting, online meeting where you're volunteering, you can go to mum and dad and say, guys, please help me out. Can you switch off your laptops just for this meeting so I can have as much bandwidth as possible? Pico, that sounds like you are, might have some challenges with your internet speed. You may want to find a faster location. 0 0.88 is probably going to mean that you're going to be freezing and people aren't going to be able to hear you as well. All right, so do switch off those programs in the background. Now, what we want to do is make sure that you are setting up your stage properly. So we need to get your lighting right, okay, for your camera. And we also want to make sure that you are positioning your camera so that you can have eye contact with the audience like I have eye contact with you guys now. Jonathan. Jonathan Locke. Hi, I was, I was going to say Jonathan. Yeah, sorry. I'm just, um, I was trying to uh you're doing your speed chat, test chat box up here yeah so all right I, uh, no worries you just click on more and the, there should be the chat there somewhere kerry 85.5 wow i think kerry's the winner much faster internet uh, excellent so what we want to do is we want to make sure that your camera is positioned so that you can actually look directly at the camera. You can have eye contact. I also want you just to move your camera so you can have a little bit of body language as well so that we're not looking at you like this. OK, so I can see Wong, Wong Hing E. We just see most of the top of your head. You can just move your camera down a little bit and you can also change the lighting as well. So have a little bit of lighting um, so that we can see your face more easily. That's going to help you to connect with people. And also just want to make sure that you've got headphones with a built-in microphone so we can hear you clearly and your audio comes across effectively. So um, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Can you come off mute, Carmen? And just say hi. <laughs> You're typing in the chat. <laughs> I just want to test your audio, Carmen. I'm going to ask you to hi, unmute. Hi. 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 Hi, Carmen. How are you today? I'm good. You're good. You seem a little bit shy. <laughs> Excellent. Carmen, I like your video setup. I can see you easily. The lighting is quite bright. You've got your headphones in. I can hear you clearly. You get two thumbs up, okay? And I'm gonna ask, um, so thank you, Kama. Suki, hi, Suki. We can't hear you. Have you got your audio set up? So this, this is where having a microphone, particularly with your headphones, it's quite useful. I'm not sure if Suki's audio is set up. So this is what we want to test out beforehand. We want to make sure that we are going to be able to come across in the best way possible. It's great if you can have this, this virtual background 
if you don't have this virtual background, um, like I, I can uh, show you my, my virtual, I, I will take off my virtual background for a second. I just have a bookshelf in the background that also looks okay as well. I've kind of got my lighting here. So I've got a bit of natural sunlight coming from over here. If I set up another light over here, it's gonna make me look fairly professional, but I'm gonna put my virtual background on. Um, so for, the, for your sessions, do make sure you looking, you're looking smart, you're sounding professional, some nice energy in your voice, got a bit of body language. It's just gonna help you uh, look a lot better. Um, let me ask Kerry, Kerry, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine. Excellent. You're coming across loud and clear. Kerry, um, are you um, are you surprised that you won the speed of internet competition? How about now? How about now? Not as good now. Can Not quite me? as clear. Can you hear me? That's better. Okay. Okay. So you've got you got your headphones going well. Okay, good, good. Um, and I noticed, so you, you've got vertical video, perhaps making horizontal would be even better if that's possible. Okay, looks good. All righty. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you. So um, obviously, you know, if, if you are in a situation where you're in public, then wearing a mask is important you know you have to keep yourself safe if you're if you're in a coffee shop or something like that um otherwise if you do have the possibility to go somewhere safe it would be good to see more of your face um so that we can we can see you clearly but if that's not possible we understand you've got to keep yourself safe uh that is your priority a few key things for especially for online volunteering meetings we have a principle which is called c before c C before C. What does that mean? It means connect before content. So whenever you are running a meeting or supporting a meeting, make sure you're saying hi to people. You're asking them about their day. How are you? What's going on with you? How's the vaccine rollout here? That's kind of interesting happening in Hong Kong. Uh, lots of changes in the rules hopefully things will be back to normal in hong kong soon sounds like there might be might be some some good news um my friends are really excited um particularly about taking their pfizer jabs in hong kong uh in the next few weeks um so we want to check in with people we want to be human we want to ask how they are so i'm i'm gonna ask um hi cheryl how are you hi hi uh did you have a good weekend? Can you repeat again? Did you have a good weekend? Yes. What did you do at the weekend? Sleep. You slept the whole weekend? Uh, no, I uh, go shopping in, on uh, Saturday. Nice. What did you buy? No, just uh, eat lunch. With just friends. lunch a bit of window shopping yes nice sounds fun okay thank you cheryl great lovely to meet you okay so when we're meeting people especially online where we feel kind of disconnected from people do check in just say hi find out how they're doing um during any meeting we always want to assume positive intent you know if there's background noise or if there's a problem if there's uh, something strange happening, we're going to assume the best of people. And we want to make sure that we're supportive as possible. Just checking in, saying, is there anything I can do to help? Um, be active and proactive uh, with all the people who, who join your room. Um, let them know you're there to support. Find out how you can help. Don't just sit back, but actively ask and say, you know, what, what could I do? How can I help more? Is there anything else I could do? All right. And really critical, be interested in the attendees. So find out about them. Just um, ask them some questions. Hi, uh, Wan Wai Yu. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very good. Oh, thank you. Very good. Yeah, I'm doing really well. Um, Wan Wai Yu, what do you study, if I can ask? Uh, I'm studying um, agriculture. Uh, news 
and and uh -huh. public, public relation. Very so cool. Like yeah. News and public relations. Interesting. Yeah. So what what's most interesting to you about that topic? Why do um, you like it? Um, because I would like to interact with different people in different mm. positions. And yes, I want to develop my uh, communication skill, something like that. Excellent. Excellent. Thank Very you. nice. Th thank you. Thank you for, for, for sharing. It's good. Give a round of applause now. Thanks for sharing. Also, I like your background. Your internet's clear. You've got good audio. So uh, excellent you. there. And thank you for asking me about how I am. That's a nice question to ask. You're interested in me. Oh, I feel I feel special now. All right. So <laughs> this is very important uh, that we are connecting. We ask questions. We are interested. What else is important as a volunteer um, and to, to be a better leader? Any ideas? Add it in the chat. What else is important for you? Please, you just jump on the chat and give me your ideas. I'll just give you 20 seconds just to share. Pico says interaction. Absolutely. There's, there's no time when you want a session just to be quiet, serious, or like a lecture. We want to interact with people. We want to connect with them. Be talkative. Exactly. Very good point, uh, Wong Yuk Yin. We don't want to just have one word answers. So if I say, how are you? And you say, fine. It's, it makes me feel like I don't really want to talk to you. If you say, how are you? And you say, yeah, I'm really good, thanks. Yeah, um, I'm quite excited because I've got this uh, volunteering session coming up and you know, I'm, I'm really interested in it. And I love it. Um, law catching, passion, yes, be passionate, especially about the SDG goals, about positive peace, be excited. So talk with enthusiasm because people are gonna connect with that. And people are, people are then gonna become more excited in your topic as well. Um, absolutely, thank you. Minnie says, take care of different people. Yes, you are gonna have people in the room who are gonna be uh, senior citizens. They're gonna be a little bit older. You're gonna have younger people there. You're gonna have people with different backgrounds, people who uh, perhaps need to, you to talk a little bit more slowly, more clearly sometimes. Definitely, we wanna make sure we look after them, make sure they're okay. And Jacqueline, yes, smiling. It makes such a big difference. It's that positivity that you've got that energy and you know, body language, the voice, the smile, the eye contact, it's all really important part of your leadership skills as you run these volunteering sessions. Excellent answers, guys. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Boom, lovely. All righty. So, Pico, I love you. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so what are we going to look at next? And I'm going to get you guys into a breakout room. So you guys are going to interact in just a moment. We're actually going to get you guys to do your elevator pitch to each other. Okay. So as I mentioned, the elevator pitch, it is that short, sharp introduction of who you are in a passionate and professional way. It's going to be short, sharp, to the point with lots of energy and with confident language. Okay. Has anybody done an elevator pitch here before? Just raise your hand. Has anybody made a self-introduction video before? Please raise your hand. No. Wow. None of you. The thing is, we've got these fantastic smartphones. You can't see that. Uh, we've got these fantastic smartphones available where what we can do, and part of your homework is going to be to create a one-minute self-introduction video that you're going to record on your phone and you're going to watch the recording and I know it's going to be painful. You're going to go, oh goodness, oh, do I look like that? 
oh, and it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. But it's really, really valuable because that feeling of discomfort is your signal to say, hey, I need to improve. I need to change. I need to be more professional. I need to look, sound more passionate, get my language right and really improve a lot. So that's going to be part of your homework after this session. So what are we talking about with a self-introduction? All it is is a one minute self-introduction. So it's pretty short and pretty sharp. One of the keys to giving an impressive presentation in your volunteering is that you appear and sound confident, right? Now, it's especially important at the start of when you're presenting, when you're first meeting people, that you sound, you look, you act confident. Okay, so this is a one minute practice that will give you the opportunity to show how fluent and how confident you can act. All right, so you're going to get a pen and paper in a minute and I'm going to give you a minute just to jot down your own one minute introduction. Okay, that you're going to make it interesting. You're going to make it engaging for the audience. Um, so it's your introduction as a volunteer. So it could be something like this. So hi, my name's Tom, and I'm a second year student at HK Community College. Who here's at HK Community College? Give me a show of hands. Minnie, Cheryl, Wong Hing E, Wong Yu Yin. Excellent. Okay. All right. So I'm studying international business and excited to be volunteering with UNESCO Hong Kong Association. I will be your MC for this workshop in the eighth Peacemaker cultural celebration and i'm really excited to meet you all here okay so it doesn't have to be long short sharp but just make sure it's positive it's passionate and it's full of energy okay so i'm going to give you one minute now to jot down your introduction you could also add a little bit more you could add you know, what's one of your hobbies that you love to do? So if I was to give you my personal one minute introduction, I'd say, hi everybody, my name's Andy Clark. I'm originally from the UK, but I've been living in Asia Pacific now for 20 years. I used to live in Shanghai, in Beijing, and then I had 10 years living in Hong Kong. And I am a leadership development trainer I run international programs for major multinational companies, but I also work with wonderful organizations like UNESCO, helping develop the leadership skills of all of their team members. And I love to see people transform and grow. And that's what I'm really passionate about. And I have two kids who are 11 and nine years old. And I love going on long bike rides. I enjoy biking, it's my hobby. Okay, so that's it. That's my one minute introduction. Please just jot down some of your, your introduction. And then I'm gonna put you into a breakout room and you are going to introduce yourself to your partner in the breakout room. And you're gonna give each other a little bit of feedback on how you could improve your elevator pitch, your self-introduction, okay? Do you need to add more energy, add more eye contact, add more passion? What is it that you could improve, okay? Everybody understands? Set set gong ah. Set gong. Excellent, all right. So I'm gonna put you into the breakout room. You're gonna have three minutes. It's gonna be very short in the breakout room. You're going to take it in turns to introduce yourselves and then you're going to come back into the main room and we're going to have a couple of people share their self introductions. Okay. So make sure you come off mute. You turn your video on if possible and you give your self introduction. Okay. Everybody understand? Yeah. Okay. Give it three minutes in your room you will be with either two or three other people
All right, please go ahead and join your breakout room. As soon as you're in the breakout room, you can start your introduction. Hi, Pika, you okay? Oh, I, I disconnect. So yeah. can you... Can I can add you, you back in? I can. Yes. Which which in room were you in? Breakout room, uh, breakout room five. I'm adding yes, you now, no you. worries. There you go. Hi, Carrie, you okay? Hello, Andy. Uh, because I use my phone and the computer, so uh, I, uh, I come in two chat rooms, so I quit uh, one, one of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah. Uh, I'm using my mobile phone to chat okay. with uh yes thank you no worries i would do that but i was in home uh i was in home uh i got you talk on them yet okay la, sorry, i see huh? Huh? Welcome back. 
Wan Wai Yu, did you have a chance to practice? Yes. You did? Fantastic. What was the feedback that you got? Uh, um, uh, Grace, maybe. <laughs> okay, let me let me ask you how could you please give your one minute introduction to the oh. group here? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Wan Wan Yu a big round of applause. Um, um, hi, how are you? And I am Sonia. And I'm now studying news and public relation related courses. And um, I am now recently interested in playing guitar, but I am just a beginner. So I, I'm recently trying my best to learn how to play a, a guitar. Yes. And how about you guys? Okay. Um, and if you could just mention the Peacemaker Celebration and your volunteering. So you, oh. how are you going to volunteer? Um, it's my first time joining this, um, this organization's volunteering workshop. And I am looking for, um, for earning a lots of experiences that I have never been at, never, never have. And I would like to uh, make more friends uh, in this uh, workshop. Yes. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Sonia. Excellent. All right. At the start of your presentation, a little bit more energy. You want to say, hi, I'm Sonia. It's lovely to meet you here. Just want to hear a little bit more, more energy and enthusiasm in your voice. Okay. You're a little bit, hi, um, I'm Sonia. And um, watch out for those ums and ahs as well. So I'm going to break out of that habit. Just take a breath. All right. And um, instead of using an um or ah, I want you just to pause for a second. So you say, hi, I'm Andy. It's very nice to meet you here today. Yeah, but just adding that energy is going to be the key thing. All right, I'm going to ask Victor. Hi, Victor. Are you there, Victor? Do you have audio available? Victor has now disappeared. Oh dear. <laughs> no, uh, Victor's apparently feeling a bit shy today. All right, um, Jonathan, if I could ask you, please. Yes. So should I do the introduction? Yes, your one minute self introduction. Yes, please. Uh, my name is John. Um, I'm a fourth year student at VI and I'm doing uh, environmental engineering. So it's um, trying to protect the environment and earn money at the same time. So um, almost a bit like, um, you know, this is about a peacemakers celebration. So well peace and protecting the environment is almost uh, two top priorities that people talk about these days, right? So absolutely. Um, I like music and um hopefully i can meet uh lots of interesting people through this uh volunteering program thank you very much let's give a round of applause thank you jonathan very nice i've got to say you started really well especially as you were talking about trying to earn money as well as protect the environment which i think it's got to be pretty tough right <laughs> you know, yeah it's probably not the highest paying job in the world, especially is in Hong Kong, you're surrounded by all these bankers who are making a fortune. Uh, but then you sort of kind of tailed off a little bit. So gotta keep the energy going. All right, keep the passion going. You said you said you love music. And if, if you just say, you know, which bands do you love? Which, is there any particular songs at the moment that you, you just, you hear and you think, oh, that's amazing. I just love to hear that enthusiasm. 
Okay. Thank you very much indeed. All right. So your homework, everybody, is to write down and also rewrite because you'll practice. And when you've practiced, you'll kind of go, oh, that doesn't really work very well. I, can, I need to change that. I need to improve that. Your little self-introduction. And do make sure you add something personal about yourself, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you're interested in, your hobbies, uh, whether it's music or dancing or whatever you're into. OK, you're then going to record yourself using your phone. And you're going to watch the recording straight after. And I know it's going to be painful, but it's a very good form of pain because it's pain that's going to motivate you to improve and change. And tomorrow or the next day, you're going to practice again and you're going to get better and better and better. Really important that you practice again and again, because this is a key leadership skill is that you connect with people with energy, you communicate effectively, use the right words, and that is going to make you more interesting. And in fact, I'm going to, you know, you guys are young. This is also a critical skill. If you want a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you need to be able to talk and you need to be able to express yourself in a positive and interesting way so that you can find a really nice girlfriend or boyfriend. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's move swiftly on at what we're going to look at next, which is, you can see that. Next thing I wanted to talk about is leading with a positive mindset. And there's a skill called cognitive reframing, which is very, very cool. It's one of my favorite skills. And it's something I, st I studied this back when I was 20 years old. And this is a skill that I find incredibly valuable, especially living in Hong Kong, where things don't always, things aren't always as happy and wonderful as perhaps it might be. Things that, you know, there are some challenging times, especially at the moment with COVID and with unrest and news stories and the vaccinations. Um, some bad news coming there. There's a lot of things you could be negative about. But what we need to do is we need to reframe. So what is reframing? Well, it is the ability to actively think positive and see a problem from a more positive viewpoint. So you hear some bad news and you go, oh, God, that's awful. Oh, not again. But what we need to do is to shift our perspective, change the way we look at it and think about it from a more positive viewpoint so that this can help us to take on a more positive emotion and feel better. It is very powerful as a skill to have the flexibility to break yourself or other people out of a negative state. You know, you feel negative, you feel angry, you feel frustrated, you feel upset but it's not very useful to continue feeling that feeling for a long time. Much better to break yourself out of it and feel more positive. So how do we do this? Well, we use reframing and I'm gonna go into it in a little bit more detail now. It's a great way to improve your EQ. You all have heard of EQ in the past or emotional intelligence, yeah? Um, and it's a great way to improve the quality of your life. So our goal essentially is to replace the negative emotion with an emotion that's more valuable for us. So, you know, for example, if you feel frustrated and angry and upset about something, somebody's upset you, the trouble is with that is that it'll often distract you. And it means that you won't be very efficient at doing your work. And if you feel frustrated and angry over several days or weeks, this can actually lead to health problems where you don't sleep well, you get sick. And of course, you know, in these COVID times, we want to keep your health number one priority. So if possible, it would be much more effective if instead of feeling frustration, we could change your emotion to feeling motivation which can help us to take action, to help us improve and develop. 
So let's have a look at an example. You know, you've got somebody who's in an office doing their job and they look at somebody else in the office and they go, I can't believe that guy. He's so lazy. He does exactly the same job as me, but he gets paid more than me. That's so unfair. You feel really frustrated, right? Oh, so unfair. Or you could say, you know what? He gets paid more than me. Bob's salary, that's my goal. I'm going to earn more than Bob. I'm going to show Bob. And you feel motivation. And you go, right, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to build my presentation skills. I'm going to develop a whole new skill set. I'm going to improve myself. And I'm going to get promoted. And I'm going to earn more than Bob. So it's about taking these negative thoughts and thinking about how could I look at this negative situation from a more positive viewpoint. There was one lovely example where I was in a training course and our trainer would talk to the group and said to us, does anyone have something that upsets them? And one lady said, yeah, I've got something that upsets me. You know, she was a, as a housewife and she said, I hate it when I see my husband and kids dirty footprints on my clean carpet. You know, I've just cleaned the carpet and they walk in and they bring their dirt from their, their shoes. And I've just cleaned. It's so disrespectful. And the trainer said, yeah, but when you see those dirty footprints, that's how you know that your loved ones are close by. And the lady went, yeah. And she just smiled. She melted. It was a really beautiful moment because her emotion shifted. Nothing had changed about her situation. Nothing had changed about her world except for the way she saw it. Because suddenly she went from feeling angry and disrespected about these dirty footprints and she shifted. Suddenly she said, you know what? My loved ones, they're close by. She suddenly felt appreciated and a bit of love and she melted and it was a beautiful shift. And this is the thing, whenever life is hard and it's frustrating and it's annoying and it's difficult, we can shift our perspective and we can say, you know what? This is not a problem. This is not a pain. This is a challenge. I'm gonna take on this challenge. I'm gonna overcome it. And you can have a much more positive mindset about it, right? And that can give you energy to fight and battle and to improve, okay? So some strong ways to begin a reframe. You could say, you know what? Something good could come from this. You know, the situation is a tough, it's a negative situation, but you know what? Something good could come from it. And actually it could be a good opportunity to pr improve, to learn something, to develop, to change, to do something different, to take new action. And of course, even though it's painful, even though it's difficult, you could learn something. And this is the thing, if I look back on my life and you look back on your life, it's normally not the times in your life when you're happiest that you learn something deep and meaningful or learn something important. It's normally those times that are difficult that you really learn something. So we want to take these ideas and when you have something negative happen, think, hmm, how could I look at this differently? Okay. Does anyone have an example of something negative or something that frustrates you at the moment? Could anybody give an example and we'll see if we can give a reframe for it. You could type it in the chat if you wanted to. I am going to put you into a breakout room in just a minute just to practice this. So we'll put you back with your colleagues in just a moment. So Jonathan, anything you're finding frustrating or difficult, any problems you're facing at the moment? Um, 
Well, I'm graduating this year, so maybe the COVID situation and finding a job. And also, um, engineers depend on a lot of whether, you know, the government um, funds the infrastructure projects. So it's mm. like, unlike like doctors, there are always people sick. So there's a bit of uncertainty. So mm. something like that. <laughs> Good. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So you um, so, so the negative phrase is I'm, I'm really uncertain about my future because of COVID and government funding. And I just don't know um, if there's going to be opportunity out there. And it makes me feel a bit uneasy and a bit uncomfortable because, you know, my friend studying to be a doctor, lucky bastard they've got loads of sick people to work with. so how would we reframe that well you are going to be graduating at a very challenging time so that is going to force you to really step up it's going to force you to reach out to a lot of different organizations to to hire you and to really give some great interviews and to practice your presentation skills. So you present yourself really well so that they, you make them go, wow, I really want to work with this person. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely going to be a challenge, but this is a great chance for you to step up and to, to improve your skills. When you go to interviews and they say, Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any government funding. This is perhaps a chance for you to learn about other opportunities, about working with other startup organizations, perhaps that are, are out there who might be a good fit for you, especially with your passion for the environment. And a good opportunity to perhaps learn some new technologies that are just beginning to take off in the marketplace. That could be a whole new game changer for what you want to do and, and your world. So these are some of the things that you might want to think about is in terms of reframing and say, actually, you know what? Being a doctor, that's kind of boring, right? You know, you've always got a job. It's always safe. Whereas my, my work, my line of work, engineering, is much more challenging at the moment. And maybe I have to go somewhere else in the world entirely. Maybe I have to go to Rio de Janeiro or to, you know, obviously COVID is a challenge, but hey, maybe if... Uh, if that's a possibility, it could be a great adventure for you. Okay, so I'm going to put you back into your breakout rooms. You're going to work with your partners. You're going to share a negative situation, a frustration, something, something negative that you got. And you're going to think about how you can make that positive. All right. And I'll give you four minutes uh, in your breakout room. I'll put you with the same partners you were with last time. Okay.
Welcome back. Pico, how are you? I can't see you. You can't see me? Oh, yes. I can see you now. Now you can see me. Okay. What was your reframe, Pico? Uh, just like I, I couldn't get on the bus in this morning and mm. <laughs> I'm really frustrated at that moment and mm. uh, but I got a really nice time to sit down and check my phone and uh, something like relax relax yeah. time to wait for the another bus yeah there you go exactly thank you Pika so Pico's example was having missed the bus this morning. She's really frustrated. Oh, I just missed the bus. So annoying. But she decided to sit back, relax, check some news on her phone, learn something, and use the time well. And nice to nice to have some little bit of little bit of a break. Mm. So this is this is the thing: is we want to take these negative situations and as quickly as possible, really work out okay how can i make the best of this how can i take this with a positive mindset and because the thing is the world will throw loads and loads of negatives at you the news is filled with negativity it's filled with oh this is terrible this is a disaster she hates him he's killed her all this negative stuff and you gotta you know a lot of times actually it's quite good just to switch off the news and uh, just focus on what you're passionate about but we also kind of need to think when bad things do happen, especially when they happen to us, okay, what's good about this? How can we make the best of this? What's the best way forward? And what can I learn from this? All righty, excellent. Um, let me ask um, Kerry. Kerry, do you have another example? Uh, yes, I have. Um... <laughs> Uh, in 2016, I, uh, I, uh, went to a, uh, I went to a, I went to a, I don't know how to speak in English, uh, uh, many, many elderly people, then I help them for cleaning and, uh, uh, asking them for some, asking them some questions about uh, their, uh, their, uh, their food or uh, life. Uh, I, I, uh, I remembered uh, they are, uh, those elderly people are very uh, friendly. And uh, when we, want, when we uh, wanted to go, uh, they are very uh, they are very sad, sad yeah they are very unhappy yeah. yeah. and that's uh yeah so i want to uh, uh come back come back come back to next time excellent yeah, that's all thank Good. you thank you very much yeah absolutely thank you lovely sherry thank you and, and pico absolutely you know, you, you got this situation where you're like, oh, do I have to go and do this? And then when you actually go and do it, you go, ah, oh, that was really good, actually. Oh, I really enjoyed that. And you just, you see it in a positive viewpoint and you get the most out of it because life is short. So, you know, we, we need to spend less time worrying and frustrated, angry, and more time having fun, enjoying life and seeing the positive in people and helping other people. So this is especially what volunteering is all about. Um, I'm currently volunteering at a vaccination center in London and I love it. It's great. It's a great chance for me to get outside and to, I'm, I'm just running the car park, <laughs> just helping make sure people park in the right place and chatting with people. And it's, it's great. It's a really fun uh, part-time job. All righty. Um, last couple of things I want to share. So I, I did mention, and we're, we're almost at time right now um is you guys i think most of you have done the positive peace training course um as you're going through your volunteer 
uh, workshops, do keep in mind uh, two main things. The positive, what you learn from the positive peace workshop, it would be great if you can also promote that to people that you meet as you're volunteering. Um, just let people know what you got out of it. What did you learn? Because we want to make sure that this is at the forefront of people's minds so that we can have more positive peace in our society and we can support positive peace initiatives around the world um, in places that, that have negative peace, that, that have violence and that have destruction. Um, so please do keep these in mind. Go back, refresh yourself on positive peace and, and the key lessons that you learned from the program. Uh, because as you guide conversations with the people you meet as you're volunteering, it's great just to let them know that there are these fantastic resources available um, for these training courses, that they can go on the courses as well. It's all free of charge. Um, they may well get something out of it and find it valuable. So great to promote that. And then, of course, we've got the SDG, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, um, that we would also like you to keep um, front and center in your mind. Good to refresh yourself on these. Talk about them with other volunteers. Talk about which ones do you think are most important at the moment for Hong Kong? Which ones do you think you might actually be able to have an impact on in your life? And how could you have that best impact? Um, do a bit of reading, do a bit of extra research about how different initiatives have had an impact in these different areas. And have a look, one of the things that I find most interesting, if you type in um, uh, SDG goals report, every year they produce a report that shows different countries and how well they've met each of these goals. And you can kind of begin to think about how learning, different learnings from other countries, how is, is it that we might be able to take some of those learnings, apply them in our lives, in our communities, with our friends who we're studying with? Um, how could we make an impact at our university or our college? How could we get the word out so that other people know more about these goals and that we can work together to kind of think, how, how are we gonna achieve these together? We can start taking some action, we can volunteer for other organizations and we can make it part of our lives. So second part of your homework from this session, okay, is to do a little bit of research, sit down and think, which of these am I most passionate about? Which of these do I believe I could have an impact in? In my life right now, if I get a group of friends together and I say, hey, this is something that, that I wanna work on, let's work together. What action could you take that could have an impact? Um, and just brainstorm some ideas, get your thinking caps on, because it's going to be a, a great way for you to live a bit more of your passion and to do something that has lasting good, something that you could be really proud of. Okay. So thank you very much, everybody, for listening to our session today. I think we're pretty much at time now. Um, let me, I, I want to do, uh, I, I want to take a snip of this screen where I can see, um, see everybody. Oh, hang on. Am I, I'm not sharing my screen, am I? Mm -mm. Ah, my, my, this is what I was supposed to be sharing. Okay. Is this 17? <laughs> you know these already, right? So, I, okay. The, the two slides that I had on my screen with this slide and this slide. Okay, so now you can see it. Uh, that was what I was supposed to be sharing, but I had technical difficulties. All righty. Um, I want to do a quick photo um, of everybody. I'm just going to do a quick capture of the room. And I just want everybody to go three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. So just act like you had a really good time in the training. Just pretend. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I'm going to snip. So everybody, are you ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, and excellent. All right, looks good. I've just snipped that now. Good, good. Okay, well, lovely to meet you guys. Thank you for joining the session today. Hopefully, you got something from it.
you do have your homework to do. Okay, so number one piece of homework, record your self introduction using your phone, watch the video, practice, and then practice again the next day, practice the next day. Okay, second one, do your research on the SDG goals, make sure you get to know them better. Think about how you can take action, how you can live them, make them part of your lives. All righty. I'm going to let you guys go. It is late in your evening now, and it's time for my lunch here in London. So oh. thank you, everyone. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Norway Tong Ho. Please send your homework and email to us. Then we will see you in the morning at 7 o'clock. Workshop 2. See you Okay. Thank you, Andy. Thanks. Okay. Very Enjoy much. your next workshop. Very welcome. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye guys. Bye. Thank you, Andy. Bye. Very nice. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for volunteering as well. It's a really important project to volunteer for. So thank you so much. Thank Great you. See you guys. Thank you. Have Cheers. a good lunch, bye. Andy. Cheers. Will bye. do. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Bye. All right. Bye bye now. I like it. Bye bye. Any questions? Yes. Yes, sure. You can ask me a question. Yes. Uh, are, are we going to send you a, re, a recording of our intro, self introduction, or just a word file of our introduction? If you like to do it, uh, uh, if you like to do it in video, yeah, please do also in whatever format you like. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Bye. If, if you send me your video introduction, I will mm. give you feedback on it. Oh, yeah, okay. if you send it to Yancy, I will take the time to review it and I will give you feedback. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll try. It's, you don't have to do it. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so okay. You have our email address, so please send, send her or the email. Maybe send a link. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Any other question? Well, if not, then see you tomorrow. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks.